Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS and get better performance in all new Sinua Sagas Hellblade 2. This game is out recently and with a lot of positive reviews I decided to make this FPS guide. Before moving ahead I want to let you know that this game is very high graphic demanding and there are chances that super low-end computers might not be able to run this one so stick around till the end. I hope this video helps you out and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is beginning up with the essential Windows settings. And for that, open up settings on your PC. Once you're here, go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned on will consume a lot of processes and reducing it will be most beneficial way to get extra FPS in the game. So simply turn this thing off. Then go back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. I have noted this in multiple tests that game mode turned on will give you better FPS as it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. Right after that, you'll find graphic settings right beneath that. Simply go over to that. Over here, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. They're going to help you a ton by enabling your GPU to be consumed whenever you're running the game, as well as reducing your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button and right over here, select your game location. Once you find it, simply click on the hellblade2.exe, click on add and it will be added in this list. Click on the options button right over here, select high performance and then click on save. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that, open up the game file location. Once you're in your game, right click on your hellblade2.exe and then go over to properties. Go over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations click on change high dpi settings and then select override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok and then click on apply similarly go to the hellblade 2 folder binary is win64 and in here you'll find the win64 shipping.exe right click on that go over to properties go over to compatibility and then do the same setting once that is done, simply close this folder. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together then go over to startup apps and in this list you have to disable all of the unwanted startup applications that you do not want to boot with your pc this will help you to reduce less number of applications running in the background and also less number of services running at the same time it will help you to reduce your last bios time and it will also help you to gain extra fps while you're playing the game next step is ms config and for that press the windows button and then type in ms config once this window opens up go to the boot section click on advanced options select the number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available right over here simply click on ok then go over to services section select high low microsoft services and disable all unwanted and unnecessary services that you do not want to run on your pc it can include the adobe update services rgb and fan control services browser update services printer services if you don't use it benchmark services if you don't use it and similar to those once again know what you're doing on your pc because if anything wrong is turned off it can impact the boot of your gameplay such as vgc if you turn this thing off you cannot play valorant once again simply click on apply and then ok next step is deanimating your windows and for that search for adjust appearance and performance of windows and once this option opens up in front of you simply click on adjust for best performance then shape taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts you can also enable show window contents while dragging and this will minimize the look of your windows, disable all unwanted animations, slowing your PC down and keep it optimal. Once again, simply click on apply after doing the 
next step is setting up your virtual memory correctly. And for that, go over to the advanced section right over here, select the virtual memory, click on the change button, deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Right between that, you'll find custom size, set this thing to 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 GB. After that, for the maximum size, simply search for system information on your PC, look for the installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Now, you have to open up your calculator and then multiply 32 with 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Once again, it is super simple to do. Deselect all of these options, click on set and then click on OK. And this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for playing the games. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and this step will be only available for Windows Pro users. Once again to do that, simply search for local group policy editor. Once it opens up, extend this window right over here, click on administrative templates, then windows components, app privacy and in here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click on this, then click on enabled right over here and then default for all applications, set this thing to force deny. This will help you to enable this configuration and it will set the application status to force deny for all applications running in the background, helping you to gain extra FPS whenever you're playing the games. Once it is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a register point and this is super beneficial. I highly recommend you guys to skip that and to do that, simply search for create a register point on your PC and once it opens up, look for your local disk C, click on create and name it Hellblade just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore all of your registries back to normal without any data loss, you can always do that with one click from this restore point. Once that is done, simply click on close, close system properties. Next step is downloading the Hellblade 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find it in five simple folders right over here. First one is a CPU priority, and once again, it has AMD and Intel folders. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to prioritize your CPU to play the game. Second one is a RAM optimization, in which I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to run the 32 GB RAM registry. Simply double click to run it. However, if this does not help you guys, you can always revert it back to default from this one. Third folder is the most important one which is the Hellblade 2 priority and for this I recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this priority list. Next is the unwanted services and once again I highly recommend you guys to apply all of these services It will help you to disable Bluetooth, core parking, downloading maps, extra unnecessary services, printer services, transparency, Xbox, improve your thread priority and Win32 priority separation. Once again if you have a printer do not disable the printer services and if you use Xbox services, I highly recommend you guys to stop doing so because it is very CPU consuming. Once again, if you don't like these registries, you can always revert them back to default from this folder. Last is the programs folder in which I have left MSI Utility V3 and Core Parking CPU. Right click on the first program and run this as administrator. This window will open right in front of you. Simply locate your GPU right over here, click on the MSI button right in front of it and for the interrupt priority set this thing to high. It will make sure that your GPU affinity is set to a higher state to utilize it better for the games. Next is the unpark CPU, double click to run this as administrator. This small application will open right in front of you. Once again, CPU Unpark is a very cool application. It helps you to unpark the cores of your CPU. If you don't know, Windows by default has this tendency to turn off the cores which are not in use. And these disabled cores may lead to less FPS. To fix that, you can set the system power plan to high performance or ultimate performance if you have it available on your PC. And then slide this core parking index all the way to 100% and then simply click on apply. This will make sure that all of the cores are enabled and are being utilized properly to get extra FPS and squeeze that performance out of your PC. Once that is done, close this application, close the FPS pack and now let's move to the best in game settings. Alright, when you're on your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Then go over to graphics and here is the main part. You'll find your display settings and in here I would recommend you guys to play on full screen on your native monitor resolution. However, for the custom upscaler, I am getting extra 5 FPS on DLSS, I am getting around 82 FPS in DLSS and around 75 in the FSR 3.0. So you can pick anyone which works great for you guys. For super resolution, I recommend you guys to put it to balance to get a quality gameplay experience. However, if you have a super low end PC, you can go with performance or ultra performance as well. However, it will make your graphic very, very low. Then when you do that, you'll find automatic sharpness. You have to turn this thing off and set the sharp 
sharpness to somewhere between 25 and 30. I would recommend you guys to set this thing to 25 as it will give you a more optimal and sharp looking image. HDR turned on or off doesn't really matter a lot. For the V-Sync, I recommend you guys to turn this thing off. Nvidia Reflex on if you have a decent GPU or you can press this on plus boost if you have a very high memory consumption. Then you have a variable rate shading. Simply turn this thing on. Global preset, set this thing to low and for advanced settings, anti-aliasing, it will be automatically set. Post processing quality low, effects quality standard, shadow quality low, reflection quality low, global illumination quality low, volumetrics low, texture quality low, view distance quality low and for UHDT low. Basically, everything set to low, even on a very high-end graphics card, is yielding me around 80 FPS, and it could be very low for you guys. So once again, that is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out a ton. And we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching, Barry Fox, and peace out.